if I would just finish this thing and see what's here, you wouldn't even think of me going to a coma because of nonsense at the side you are. And forget about that whoever said that, that you're planning that Roy a collapse. I started suffering long time ago. And you guys, that second year, what I experienced here, not even the preso was helping me, I ever told. But I said, I'm saying my story. Hello guys, it's your girl Fashion Status. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscription box and put on the notification bell so that you're not in time across a new video. Remember, I'm the queen of online gossip. So welcome to today's video. Don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment on the comment section. Nasikia bariti Okay, da ist nicht der Gezeit Ja, ich kann das auch nicht Okay, guys Ah um. I was ready to talk today. And I'm gonna talk today. Okay, okay. 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 My story. Kufanya story yake. Caution. The story is from my heart, not your opinion. Neither don't you change my story to be yours. Neither will I change my story to fit my lifestyle. It is just the story that belongs to me because I'm the author. I've been through it. I know it. You know zero. I know everything. And if in any case you have any question about who this guy is and who what he's been, it's me. It hasn't been a good one. I had reached a point where I was out of high school. I remember I told you guys this. Then uh, I was in Kanga High School. One of the most precious school, precious schools in town around then. Ikaenda, ikaenda, nikafika second form, third term, I had to drop out because of... Actually, I was naughty. You were stubborn. Not... What? Excuse me? You were stubborn. No, I was not stubborn, I was naughty. Okay. Yeah, I was naughty. Those are two different people. I was naughty. You, you are stubborn. Me, I was naughty. Thank you. <laughs> Now, Nika drop out of school. Now, the reason why I wasn't stubborn, you know, a stubborn person is that person who learns a drop out of school. Now, I decide to stay around in the community. May I dropped out of school, <laughs> imagine guys, and I never even knew where I was heading to. But I normally found my plate myself in places you wouldn't imagine a uh, 16, 14 year, 14, 16 year old guy could be. Mm -hmm. And funnily enough, for your surprises, me, I dropped out of school while I was not doing any drug. I was never doing drugs. All I remember Vizuri Sana is while I was in school, I was that lovey dovey. I was handsome, but fluent by the way you know i was now back to homerby and homerby what only you make dogo so i used to see the show around if you want to vibe i had good vibes and uh guys i'm not talking about tomorrow we had good vibes things went like that i stayed out of school for a number of years that is when my parents were alive remember my parent was alive my dad died in 2002 no, sorry, in 1992, my mom came to die in 2002. Apparently, we, this this was to find me when I'm out of school, but unfortunately, I had dropped out. So my mom died when I was not in school. And uh, I was that now bad crook hanging around here and there. Though I was now back to the house, I stopped uh, going on exile because I really loved going to for exile. That is to say, while I was on exile, I never wanted 
my mom to have me around because I knew like I would do something stupid that she didn't like. This thing that was stupid, many of them, one was this issue of ladies. I was so much into them and they were so much into me. And actually the guy in me took me crazy about them and they were crazy about me. And I couldn't take it. I couldn't stand it. But I didn't know that one day, one time, this whole issue is going to mess me up. And actually it did. It did a great deal. So we pushed on with this kind of lifestyle with my mom still alive. Then mom, obviously mom wouldn't have been comfortable with such a kind of guy around. And in fact, we were bother. I don't want to talk about someone else, but it happened. We were a brother and uh, as we went by with mom, 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 mom was loving. She had to just stand it because she was not the sole mother. And actually at the moment, as I pray, I talk, I pray that she is resting well. And I'm sorry not to have her around because all this wouldn't have been happening. I wouldn't have had somebody to tell my story. Then, unfortunately, out of all these ups and downs, mom died in 2002. Now this one rendered our family total orphans. This is when life started becoming biting. It was biting both ends. It was biting my fingertips. It was biting my toes. It was biting my ears, my eyes. My heart was finished. And this is the moment now that I became alcoholic. I wasn't a drunkard, never. I became alcoholic at a one point pop. And alcohol was all around me. And I was alcoholic, my friend. Even the age mates I used to know, the friends I used to have were not my age mates. I used to hang out with big boys. And when I say big boys, I think you know what I mean. I used to hang out with big boys, big boys. You would find this form to drop out, hanging out with lawyers around Mtani, uh, high school teachers. They just like something in me, but they really used to talk about it. Like, Roy, Pana, Ebu, relax. I'm like, okay, so under relax. Because they liked my vibe. My vibe was okay. But at that moment, I was in that deep state of confusion. You couldn't even know what to do about yourself. Anytime anybody came to you, alikuwa ni apana, nini ni baya, Roy, ebu jaribu. Hey, you're being told to put power grid. Then, it didn't work out nicely. So, Mini liendelea na kukunywa pombe. Nikakunywa pombe. Nikakunywa pombe. Nikakunywa pombe. I'm telling you guys, it was not that good one. Host, I'm not even seeing anyone from your side. Ume mute. Then, okay, actually, your life haiku kwa fit sana, but I had to leave it because nikuna vile nilikuwa na enjoy. Then, everything didn't go well. I survived with the, out my mom for some time. I was by that time with my small C's. And actually me, I went through a lot. Now, after that, we were living in Homobi. Homobi became messy for me. Let me not lie to you. When Homobi became messy for me, I had to do what it takes because nearly back here alone. I am there. I have to feed my fucking self. I don't know. How old were you? Next. Uh, Roy, how old yeah. were you when your mom passed? My mom passed away while I was around 17, 18 years old. Just you can make a, a recap of 2002 to now. Mm -hmm. I was around 25 years old, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy, actually, and I came back in my life. I love her for that. I love her for that. She did it the hard way. 
na akaona life mbele and i love her she's humble she's humble she's somewhere here in Nairobi you don't have to know her name those who know sawa sawa nikabaki alone homa be homa be kubaki peke yangu now i want you to take this thing in your real picture it is roy alone roy mlevi roy madem now this is where something also comes in mimi mlevi mimi madem roy jobless nakumbuka roy hana garama i didn't have anything i didn't have bills to settle because we are the first place i'm in my mom's house in the second place everything is there that i would need So the only thing I would do is have fun look for these ladies you have your fun we we grew up a very funny type of kind of generation that CC in Omobi we were called another life stylish guys not my family my age mates my age mates were somehow class you know Omobi we came, went there found it to be nyuma kidogo but our mates our mates were very different we had a lavish lifestyle and imagine i would mix with them just because of this thing just because of my mouth my mouth that is now thinking and shit they did well i never knew it was gonna be like this my friends did well my friends are doing well but it's just a mistake i did that i have to accept I never knew it was going to be like on me like this. Guys, my fellow friends, my fellow friends walienda, walipa. Walipa, they are here. They're flying on top of me. Those who used to brush out. Now things have started happening real. I started seeing them on my face. Heaven, I was gonna like It came a point where what do you mean walipa they had, they had excuse me what do you mean walipa walipa walinipita walinipita yeah, si pa si ile english tunaelewa yao walipa ni kiswahili wao say sema walikupita endelea walinipita nikapitwa na wakati nikabaki useless mtaani kiswahili pia sio mdomo yangu sana Umemute. Chezeni na live goal Roy akiwapatia story yake. Eh hata wewe uongeeko, mimi kuongea tu ni watu wamenyamaza. Na mute because my son is making noise here. So guys, hao watu walinipita, nilipitwa na wakati brother, sister, nilipitwa. And I saw them go. Lakini sasa sikuwa na otherwise nikaamua hapana lifestyle waga different mimi yangu ni hii mbona ni si accept yangu mbaya Nikasema okay sawa let it be wacha niendele na hii lifestyle Si you remember kila mtu ameshatoka mimi nimebaki na hao homa be Hapa ndio sasa vituko na sarakasi zilianza bwana Hapa nikaanza kusema bwana eh watu wanaenda kuwaka sina do Hizo time kuna ma clubs zimefunguliwa kisi sina do Roy ni nani? Sioni kitu kwa hao. Kuna sema at the end of the day si ni yangu. Nimeichukua. Nimeenda nikaanza kuuza. Yes, nimeenda nikauza. Roy amechukua gas amepenya, ameenda kauza. Roy au au kupita na sufuria ya chakula. Tutakosana na wewe tu saa hii. Saa hii na sita tukua muda na ndaenda zangu. Yusuf tuko sana tu kusuku sana ni kawaida ah ni sawa hata sijuzi niliko sana nikarudi by force endelea endelea <laughs> alafu ukaanza ukaanza kupotea na mtungi ya gesi agasi ya da, dada si uongo na si moja i did it okay i don't have to regret regret is a song of fools let me tell you me i don't Alafu sasa zile utaanza kuniambia tinaanza kukuambia hapa sasa hii atina regret hapana ndakuwa na wadanganya I was old enough to take care of myself I just didn't want to because I was stupid I don't regret being stupid because I'm no longer stupid Ndende Hizo zima vitu zikaanza kulos close 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 my family heard about vitu zina disappear 
wakarudi wakasema pana eh joro ya sasa wewe umezi mezidi hata mimi nilipata kuelewa vile vile ambao nimezidi na mimi nikaenda gizani i went missing mm-hmm. i said now the best thing kwacha niende nipotee Mhm. Kadari bukulos. Kupotea kwangu hakukunipa faida yoyote. Ulipotea ukaenda wapi? Eh yao. Mhm. Si story teller, si story teller. Oh, story teller. Sawa, acha mimi niseme si toza story haikukuwa wimbo. Sasa unapigiwa simu, unapiga story, unapigiwa ah, simu na toa reminder fulani. So guys, ikaamua mimi ni disappear kutoka home of because home of hapa nilishakuwa crook hapa nilikuwa shakuwa known and imagine the funny part of it i never broke someone's door i never stole from anyone's compound that mtu ataniambia to me ni mwizi they knew i was stealing from our house of which some people were really bad advisors unajua kitu wanakuambia kwa kijalua anasema ikao giru atumechukua kitu yenu so na ile take mind ile kujinga that is in you instilled with the devil unasema at the end of it who is there to persecute me unapata truly nobody then you keep on doing bullshit wewe unafanya tu unafanya tu in the name of hakuna mtu atakushtaki sikafika siku ya siku moja nilikuwa kisumu a friend of mine tulikuwa na yeye alikuwa na shioma bp ya is the late right now then he told me you know what a guy mimi na kuna gato hapa kwa street na what that time ujai ni ambiaga unaishi nikamwambia mimi mimi naishi kama douche kama wenyo bad leo naweza kwa hapa kesho niko pale by the way kwanza ilikuwa unapendwa na watu watu wengi lakini roi mimi kuna story nyingine sitaki kusikia hebu tuende hivi tukaenda kwake alikuwa anaitwa ray huo jamaa is great ray okundi tukaenda na, na ray kwake tukadoze ray akani introduce kwa story ya matatu Mm-hmm. Kanga. Mm-hmm. Kanga, umakanga kanga umakanga 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 nikaachana na umakanga ulikuwa umakanga wa kisumu I was working on uh, in some prominent guys vehicles and when it was gone usir kisumu he was the mayor kisumu and he liked me because of my language my post yani I, i was presentable i would talk i would speak nicely so akanipenda tu lakini hakuwahi niuliza imagine hapo ndo pale nilianza ku realize life itakuwa ngumu hapa mbele hakuwahi niuliza natoka wapi hakuwahi niuliza ati nafanya nini unaona so nikasema pana kuna kitu tricky inaendelea hapa lakini shetani ni nani you guys I told you we'll talk one day about addiction. Shetani Ali Medelwiz akanitoa kwa hii matatu, akanirusha Nairobi, nikajipata kwa matatu ingine jawa. Mhm. Vile pale sasa nilishaanza kuona kweli, Shetani akanifichia ukweli. Wacha nifike kwa Nairo. My bro is daily looking for me. There was a day okay, I swear I saw my brother looking for me. My brother used to love reggae so much. Those are daily kuna nitafuta na naona ame pocket gazeti. Akanipita hivi that was in Kisi town. Akanipita na nilimlenga. Na imagine size ni kubao natembea mgutupu. Nilikuwa na camel boots lakini niko na side moja side moja sijui lala wapi. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Sasa nikaanza kuona pana. Hii maisha mimi nishandurudisha Nairobi. Isha nipeleka wapi? Ebu niende ocha. Yeah. That goes my other option. Before I reach to Shago nikaamua kwenda Homabi. Kurisa face Homabi nikapata Homabi lifestyle sasa sio ile yangu. Wale watu wote unaona tulikuwa nao mama ngani kapata most of them were daddy one after the other. Hey, I'm like guys are dying like this yani and me bado kwenda nipenda. Nikaamua roi end of Shago. I went to Shags. You know mom is not there. I went to Shags. I went to Shags. I started a lifestyle in Shags. Nikatulia ushago kidogo. Sasa ushago kitu liniharibu sana ni 
nilikuwa nisha kwa alcoholic usagu nikapata kuwa exposed to changa na changa is cheap and uh, the way I used to like issues of matatu matatu nilingia pale na watu wa homa bi wana nijua so there is also kipitaga I was like oe ni haji utani achi yaka kitu I'm telling you nilikuwa na achi wandio yoka kitu nilikuwa na kamu but kumbe hizi vitu zote zilikuwa zina nipeleka daum kidogo kidogo nikaanza kusema pana nataka kusettle ni make a lifestyle i had a good friend of mine bana anaitwa songi zigo but to songa his brother was blessed by those times alikuwa nje songi came into my life like gold also songi alimbero mimi sitaki kuona pusha gua tu na ngaisha hawasi we fanya hivi kuna magari hapa Roy, I'm giving you one vehicle. Tutafanya job na wewe. Mimi na wewe. I know you. Tutafanya job na wewe. And Roy, lazima umari sasa pali mefika. Lazima umari. That's why now you know I'm going to 36. Huko. 35, 34, I think. So, ngi put me on track. Nika anza job na matatu yao. Prezo, I got married. After getting married, After getting married to my beautiful ex-wife, uh, oh, we also had a baby. Katika hii hali ya kungangana ngangana, kumbe nika kuja gugundua si kuwa poa. Because sasa ni meanza ku withdraw from some things, like drinking habits, zime change. Sa zile zina change, kuna side effects you know when you detox after taking a lot of things hata uneza kuwa mwiki to normally mhm yeah with no other nothing like an infection so nikaanza ku feel feel mwili nikaanza ku gonjeka in short what age that one I'm 36 35 there mhm you have you chopped life with big spoon eh yeah i chopped it I was not that far. I was around 27. Yeah, I remember I was around 27 because 35 or 35 something else a big time was happening to my life. I was around 27. I started feeling sick, 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 sick. Kwanza kitu ilifanya ni realize ni mkonjo for your information. You know, this I got. Alikuwa katu ikadogo, a very small baby. Akikamu umdu ya lidai. Hmm? after ikushi na ye kitu kama 3 days ati ya kikamu na mtu indogo eh eh sasa yu tukaishi ishi tuko ushago you remember sasa nisha ati nse tu niko dala tu nikuwa na piloti uko dala tunaishi kukwa one of the rooms ilikuwa rented kidogo mtu ya kadai tuka bari mtu ya hapa utu home nika sema pana He life last May and the she had another baby. Mtu ya likuwa ni wako? Wa first Z. Alika mnae? Ndogo, kamtu ka ino sa ndata juu ya toko sema baba. Ama mama. Sasa wewe ulikuwa na lamba lamba kila kitu? Kulamba lamba kila kitu azi. Si mtu soma dalili ya mvua ya wa. Alafu inakuwa? Endelea na hiyo story nita kuchamba badali Haa? Endelea na kusikiza Kwa makini Sasa Ika kwa something else Uu demu wakashika bol Hakaza Haka kwa sawa tu Yani mkazi kamutu hita Ala kutenda uka mdungisha bol Sindo vila lishika bol Kwa ni sasa kumdungisha ndo lazima yukwe the lamu Ikaendele Ikaendele hivi waka kuwa fiti Mto hivi waka kuwa fiti Mto hivi waka guru tukanza kuguru Mimi nika kuwa msik sasa kabisa Kwanza yendo alikuwa msik She then got a job Ya kufunza manasari school hapo ECD Hapo to home Because alikuwa dema menda shule Haka funza funza Then there was a day to menda job Na songi kwa matatu Nika kuja kuambiwa nikiwa kwa sente na ito andiwa Ati we Suwe ndo roi nangisa Yes Mwaifi yako anafundisha Starlight Primary ya 
ameprashiwa sasa hii sasa hii amepandishwa hapa usiji ako mbaya sana unajua mimi sijai kwa hiyo msiki hiyo time nikambia songi songi jo utanipea space mimi napanda hapa juna sikia mama keli ni msi ni msika vile nilipanda mtu nilipata si ule mtu niliacha kwa hao ushona ule mtu ameharisha like i think it was three consecutive hours vizuri vizuri i went and found her soaked in shit ajijui i'm like is this linas i'm seeing somebody else i had to make her clean on my own because nurses walikuwa ah ah tuwezi fanya kazi kama iko mstana kama huyu unaulizwa walikuwa na ugonjwa gani si ungoja niendelee na story i think alikuwa na agwegwe agwegwe ni nini alikuwa na agwegwe endelea nitakufanu ufafanulia baadaye asante alikuwa alikuwa na agwegwe endelea mhm mm amamakili akakuwa hivyo nikamtunza day 1 day 2 day 3 alikuwa anaweza ongea akaamka we were discharged from the hospital after going through the test she apparently was found sick hm she was found sick she was found yeah. with agwegwe hm mm? i don't know what agwegwe is what is agwegwe we hiyo ni lugha ya kimombo tuendelee na story haya okay with the you are agwegwe mm -hmm. mhm don mhm kaenda home hapa ndo tukaanza sasa kutaka kujijua vizuri mhm mm but hiyo 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 experience nimekuwa nayo hapo kwa 3 4 days ili ni turn back to my past kidogo i went back and ikarisiu mkukunywa both of you mlikuwa wasi kama ni yeye ndo si ngode ah uh -uh, umesema you felt same and then she By felt same mhm mm by that time ni yeye alikomsika yeye ndiye alikomsika nimejua because i had not attended any hospital mhm mm you get me yeah yeah at a time we went and parted our ways mhm mm because i was feeling so proud like it's ha we mess up ama nini mm -hmm. only to come to realize that i'm also sick mhm mm ah ni mute when i realized Aya watu ni mute. Watu wanasema ni mute. Wewe. When I realized I'm also sick, I took it with smell. I said like to hell, I can cope. I can move on. Kumbe mimi na Jean by tu kwa problem zingine. Na Jean by tu kwa problem zingine hata nilishindwa nifanye. but i had to take it because it was me the whole problem was mine the whole issue was raised on me she went her ways i went my way we parted I started living another lifestyle back to congo back to congo then later on to another world that is called prison 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 i went to prison i was taken to prison you just have to read whoever doesn't want to read doesn't send me anything don't send me any messages up if you are having this same and nilisha mwa na same i was taken to prison and apparently what took me to prison was lies by the time nilitoka ushago niende ni lead lifestyle yangu i was taking rent in some hour, house of hours and somebody closely related to me akamwa i should not be taking this because my parents are not there they can take charge they came and tried to take it over from me i said no maybe this was the other way they wanted and actually they did because uh, maybe when we talk at home 
I think it was a, man, a manipulated move. Nili toka home na immediately I came back after some three months. Siku kawia nyumbani guys. After three months when I came back home, I knew the home was, uh, the, the plot was deserted. No, I found some people there. Then I found there was somebody related to me. Ule sasa ndo alikuwa me take over na chukua rent. Uja wali kwa na chukua rent ndo alikuwa after the plot. And this guy, vile aliniona, he had to make a story. And he made the story and the story drove me to prison. Hiyo unasikia watu wakiimba imba naye mtu akiimba imba naye hapa atia alienda jela. Yes I went to si uongo. And me I came I will speak it out. Alisema alienda jela I went and I never went with my friends. I never went while guilty. I wasn't. I was promised so much and in fact if my family had the uwezo ya kunitoa hapo wangenitoa they could not hawakuwa na uwezo and i don't blame them for that not any of them because kesi ya fitina kati ya mjaluo na ndugu ya mtoto wa ndugu yake juu ya sorry na this was now a house and he wanted to get in control he got in control when i came back he told me he alleged that I had taken some things from the from one of my tenants and he had filed a case and I have a case nilifika asubuhi by saa nane ya mchana nilikuwa nashikwa na polisi naambiwa wewe my guy unajua kuna vile ulibia mtu fulani 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 tarehe fulani i am like what do you what are you telling me when and where and why yes i was just in nomabi and that is your business they come in okay fine it's my business but i was in nomabi i called my bro my bro told me okay guy okay, those guys have arrested you so go go and I'll cut up police station si watakupeleka kotini leo eh alhala you na nitakulipia hiyo fine because hiyo ni issue iko na tunajua kitu tunawasumbua kumbe this thing au watu wameenda wakai feel na that ikaenda kotini immediately nothing much mimi pia na ule mtu who i was sasa nishambi wandalipiwa fine because i know i'm not guilty when i was being sentenced I didn't I knew it was not going to be a sentence in fact because I knew uh, what I am okay you gu are you guilty or not guilty niliambia useme you guilty because I'm going to be paid for nikasema sawa I'll be paid for jaja kasoma jaja nini akaniambia you're stealing from a dwelling house you're charged with stealing from a dwelling house vile niliambiwa niliti nikasema yes your honor Nikaulizwa another question that is where now it became painful. At what do you have to say in mitigation? Ile wanasema ga kwa Kiswahili ya table ya malilio yako. Nikamwambia mimi the charge is saying stealing from a dwelling house. I don't see how I could steal from my own dwelling house. So I don't understand if that is true. But young man you just pleaded guilty. Yes because I had to Alafu judge akanya but I know so on that note I am passing you a sentence of 3 years with no fine. Eh my guys I was on the dock. What I secondly saw at tears. I felt them roll down. And I was like hey but is it true? Is it true nimefungwa 3 years? But it was with parole like with remission so if it is three years it was to come back to 24 months si kwa mini but nature had taken its course that's how the story of prison comes in into my story guys immediately i was off the dock i was taken to prison prison maraio yo my bro couldn't do anything because there is no fine a guy told me, just try and appeal. I was advised by one of the best so I to prison warders and some lawyers. Those lawyers I used to drink with in normal pay. One of them even came and told me. I was, there were lawyers and me, I was a dropout. And they told, told me, you have done a very wrong thing. They never knew, but don't blame anyone. The blame is on you. And I think God na mefanyo ukafanya hivyo. Wewe, just go and chill out there. Those guys may even have killed you. 
Nikamwambiani just because of you how akaniambia no Roy everything for a reason. Hebu enda tu hapo kwa chill. You won't die I promise you because the way na sikega stories are prison. Ju sell na ilikuwa ni normal. The cells as ile royal kwa meibaka gas hivi atapatikana cell. Roy amefikia amefanya nini atapatikana cell. Ilipata nilienda jela. Nilienda jela nikaingia jela nikavaa kunguru. The uniform But I said strong, thank you. I'll bake it. Kumbuka ni kona 24 months up and down. Ni kanza kurandires. Step after the other day, after the next one. Month after catching up to the year. Nili skuma two years in prison. It wasn't fun in there. But God, mungu ni nani? God ali nsaidia to an extent that I went to prison. Those who are singing prison, prison, prison about Roy. I wish you knew how prison is. You wouldn't even have wished that your brother would have been there. But lucky me. I never held a jambo with my hand. But I saw the shambas. I never. And it is not because I wanted not to. I knew maybe I deserve it, but God said no. Maybe this is another way we are taking you. This is another way we are taking care of you. Because we don't know what is going to happen to you tomorrow. If you would have left you out there, maybe I would have been something else. I would have been a corpse. My bodies are not there. Three quarters and I'm not afraid to say that. And it's by the grace of God that I'm still here. I stayed in prison. A year went. The second year, uh, approaching with um, Kwanza Ivi Wapili, I fell damn sick again. And for your information, before all that, while I was in prison for one year, I was doing carpentry. As I talk right now, I'm a very good carpenter. Very good one. That one I can do with my own hands. Very good one. And I'm smart at that. That one I know. But the only reason I cannot do it is because of my health condition. By the time I was in prison, everything in prison was being done forcefully. If you want to play in a board, you do it with your hands. I can make nice things out of wood. That one I know. But my health is just as rotten. My head is not very much okay. Let's take time for that. Uh, I told you guys after, after the second year up, my Zuar, Pili Watatu Nika Hansa Kuam Gonjwa. Somebody I had say something here that one day Ilinishtua when Prezo helped me, that we are planning to do something else stupid. My guys, I can never do that. If, you can, if I would just finish this thing and see what's here. You wouldn't even think of me going to a coma because of nonsense at Nimesaidiwa. And forget about that whoever said that, that you're planning that Roy I collapse. I started suffering long time ago. And you guys, that second year, what I experienced here, not even the Prezo was helping me, I ever told. But I said, I'm saying my story. Who wants to love me, love me, Who wants to hate me, I'll take it for free. I suffered hapezosta. I'm sorry to say that. Hapezosta of an acute angle that will never be reversed. And if it comes again, it goes with me. All of my right side went. This is not mine. It's not, and it's not news to some people who know me like my family, they know. I know tomorrow they'll ask me why I was saying that. It's because I was saying my story, so tomorrow nobody should ask me any, so any such question. It's my story. Just like nobody asked me why I got into prison, nobody should ask me why I said that. This is a permanent wound in me. 
It's there. You can't identify it's a wound, but you can see. And you can see it by first glance and tell me, Roy, what is wrong with your side? There was a day Prezo was unwell and uh, she was in her house when she started helping me. I went to take for her water. She was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> I can make fun of me. I can't make fun of me. I can't make fun of you remember that? Yeah. And I told you I have a condition. I'm mute by the way. Hey, so I'm not a swa. I was having a problem bending to bend. Yeah, and I told you I have a condition. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. Yes. Have you seen a band scar? Okay, mm -hmm. for those who know Hape Zoster, they can explain. I know Hape Zoster. I, I don't have it. to, and it was that. I thing. know it burns the body. Yeah, I me, mean, it was almost here. Yeah. On your chest. So, huh? On your chest. Yeah. Uh, no, on my chest towards my back. Because you know it doesn't cross. It doesn't cross one side of the body. If it crosses, you're finito. Uh, I felt sick in prison. I suffered this. I was taken to hospital. I was treated nicely in hospital. Mm. Got nice medication. Healed the wound. Because it doesn't heal. Yes, it's HIV related. I healed the wound. Now this is when I want to ask and know my status. I found it was real. I was sick. This brought back some little peace while I was in prison. I could not be told, chote maji pale, nini pale. I was now a sick report. They call him a sick report. This sick report I was Help me move these years that were remaining in prison and uh, they went well. I didn't want to figure out whoever did this because I know I had messed up a lot. I didn't want to ask who or how Things just had to take their course, take their way, of which they did, they did, they did, they did, and Nikaskuma uh, Tumiaka. Then I left prison to come to open Uraya, Nito Uraya. Kukuja Uraya, Nikakuja Uraya, Kidogo. Yeah, alafu katolea jela. Nikarudi kuteribu kutela kwanza life. Hapa kwa kwanza life ndo life kaza kwa ngumu. So thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Remember to like, share, comment. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you don't forget to post a new video. So guys, thank you. I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.